Hi everyone, Diane here. In today's micro superhero is found in the domain Archaea, Kingdom Yuri Archaeota, Phylum Yuri Archaeota, Class Thermococci, Order Thermococcus, Family Thermococcusae, and Genus Pyrococcus. Phew! This mighty microbe is called Pyrococcus furiosus. It's a non-pathogenic aquatic hyperthermophile that was discovered in 1986 by Dr. Carl Stetter, a German scientist who thought it was a good idea to play in and around liquid fire. He found P. furiosus in the sediment around an underwater vent near the aptly named Volcano Island in Italy. P. furiosus is a single-celled, egg-shaped organism with 50 strong flagella sticking out of one end like a crazy chia pet or an overambitious squid. With a multitude of functions besides mere motility, these flagella can form cable-like structures, allowing for cell-to-cell -cell connection, creating a biofilm-like structure. The flagella also provide the ability to attach to a solid surface, which is beneficial in an area with a lot of movement, like vents and hot springs near volcanoes where these hardy little microbes thrive. Appropriately translated as rushing fireball, P. furiosus has awed scientists with its unique superpower for thermostability and resistance to heat shock and radiation. The temperatures around seafloor vents can reach from 70 to 103 degrees centigrade. The anaerobic P. furiosus is capable not only of protecting its chromosomal DNA from being incinerated in its high heat, but can rapidly grow and reproduce. These industrious little critters breed faster than any other organism in the domain Archaea at only 37 minutes in optimal conditions. Not only that, but it's capable of surviving up to 2 hours at 105 degrees Celsius. Try that with your Thanksgiving turkey. P. furiosus is also remarkably resistant to radiation and can thrive in an astounding pH range extending from 5 to 9. That's anywhere from black coffee to baking soda. Fun facts! Some of the enzymes in this microorganism are tungsten dependent, a rare element to be used within any biological system. It's capable of using a wide variety of compounds as a carbon source, and unlike most hyperthermophiles, elemental sulfur is not required for it to grow. In fact, it prefers sugars over amino acids for its anaerobic metabolism. Also, it's an anaerobe, so oxygen is its kryptonite. In 1999, a group of scientists in Baltimore, Maryland, led by Dr. Dennis Mader, observed that P. furiosus DNA broke 20 times slower than E. coli bacteria when exposed to temperatures up to 110 degrees centigrade. Other experiments let scientists deduce that P. furiosus not only produced a multitude of unprecedented metabolic reactions, but that it was a source of thermostable enzymes with potential industrial applications. Scientists recently introduced some of these furious enzymes into plants because what could go wrong there, <coughs> Africanized honeybees, and found that it can rapidly increase heat tolerance and survivability under extreme environmental conditions. A plant's typical response to heat exposure is to produce free radicals, also known as reactive oxygen species, or ROS, often resulting in a fatal buildup of these free radicals. However, the enzymes from the oxygen-hating P. furiosus reduce the levels of oxygen by transforming it into hydrogen and water. This marvel of chemistry alters the plant's response to environmental stressors and reduces cell death. Enhancement of plant survivability, making them more resistant to light, chemical, and heat stress, is currently being tested on Arabidopsis thaliana, a small roadside weed arguably already quite hardy in its own right, to determine survivability in the extreme environment of other planets, the focus currently fixed on the possibility of terraforming Mars. What? I know, right? That's a pretty beefy resume for such a little guy. However, despite the marvel feats of this rushing fireball, much of the domain Archaea remains a mystery, and additional benefits of the mighty Pyrococcus furiosus are still being explored.